designers. Oh, gosh. Where it's just like, wow. Yeah, so. um, I still liked it. I just found that the first Ted was. The movie I was thinking of was called Frank. Oh. It's about a band that has a front man who has a huge paper mache head. (laughs) And, yeah, it was. It was a cool... Where did you watch this? It was on Netflix. Okay. And it came out last summer when we went to go see Boyhood. We Mm -hmm. saw the trailer for it. I haven't seen anything about Fred. Frank. Frank. And it's on Netflix. Frank. And it's a really interesting movie, the way that they set it up. And by the end of it, you're like, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. But it's, uh, it's an interesting film. Interesting film. Yes. Now, if money were no object, how would you spend the next year, Natty Waters? Oh, playing. Going to Elitch's every day? No. <laughs> I guess, you know, road trips. Mm-hmm. I love road trips. And seeing different sides of the countryside, you know, that you've never seen in your life. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be awesome. I mean, we went through Arkansas last year. I had no idea. I thought it was like Kansas. Oh, no, it's beautiful. It's no rolling hills. Be- yeah, gorgeous. What time of the year did you go through it? Um, March, April. So there weren't even... It was probably green and blooming. No, no? there weren't any leaves on the trees. And just that, you know, just wow. seeing how much, how how forest-like it is out there, it was just, it was awesome. Yeah, I grew up... I had no idea. 25 minutes north of Arkansas. Okay. And we would u- go drive down there in the fall when the leaves were turning. I bet that was oh, beautiful. It's, it's gorgeous. I bet. Yeah. But yeah. I would say traveling. Traveling would be fun. In the continental U.S.? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, we've been to Canada, and it's gorgeous up there. We went to the west side, or mm-hmm. the, the west coast. Um, but I'd like to travel around... Um, so just travel in general. in general. Conquer the world. Yeah. Natty and her family conquering the world. That's right, in our little Winnebago. <laughs> yes. If we had one. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you want to be when you grew up when you were in elementary school? Oh. I know, right? I often try to remember. <laughs> I think I had, I wore so many hats because I wanted to do everything. everything. And you still kind of have that, don't you? Yes. I still have, and I think that's why I'm just like, I have no determination, or not determination, but I just don't really have a set goal. I just want to experience. Try it all. Try it all at least once, right? Right. Yellow, right? Yellow. Yellow. I thought you said yellow. I'm like, yellow, Yellow, what? what? (laughs) I love that color. (laughs) Oh, goodness. All right. So, cupcakes and presents time. I'm going to run through these celebrity birthdays. Okay. All right. Now, these are celebrity birthdays throughout the week. Some of them were yesterday. We're going to go all the way to Saturday, okay? Okay. So, yesterday, comedian director Mel Brooks turned 89. Actress Kathy Bates turned 67. Actor John Cusack turned 49. Country singer and former American Idol contestant Kelly Pickler turned 29. I thought she was older. I I think she's... Okay. <laughs> Today, I, I was thinking you're gonna say Kelly Clarkson. Oh, yeah, I don't no. know who Pickler is. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Today, actor Gary Busey is 71. Wow. He's kind of the creepy one. <laughs> yeah. Singer Nicole um, Scherzinger of Pussycat Dolls is 37. Comedian Colin Jost of Saturday Night Live is 33. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, tomorrow, bassist Tom Drummond of Better Than Ezra is 46. Singer and American Idol winner Fantasia, sorry, Fantasia is 31. On July 1st, singer Deborah Harry of Blondie is 70. Actor Dan Aykroyd is 63. You know who he is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Country singer Michelle Wright is 54. Actress Pamela Anderson is 48. She's almost 50. Wow. Rapper Missy Elliott is 44. Hmm. Actress Liv Tyler turns 38. Actress Hillary Burton of One Tree Hill is 33. I, I just love looking at your face because, like, I know when you know someone and, like, other times you're, like, blank stare. No idea. All right. July 2nd, singer Michelle Branch is 32. Actress Ashley Tisdale of Hellcats and High School Musical turns 30. Actress Lindsay Lohan has a birthday. How old do you think she is? She's 
I think, a year older than I am. Oh. She's 28. No, she's going to be 29. Oh, okay. Again, I thought she was older than that. Because she's well, been around forever. <laughs> yeah, and she's taken That's horrible cool. care of her body. Yeah. On July 3rd, actor Michael Cole of The Mod Squad is 75. Country singer Johnny Lee is 69. If you'll notice, I, I never leave out a country singer. That's okay. Yeah. As long as they're the good ones. Yes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Because you, you know. I can't determine who's good and who's not. Especially now age. I right. don't listen to country, so I can't say. Well, at least you know who Miranda Lambert is. I'll take credit for well, that. Well, th- yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll give you that for sure. Talk show host Montel Williams is 59. Country singer Aaron Tippin is 57. Actor Tom Cruise is 53. On July 4th, talk show host Geraldo Rivera is 72. That's older than I thought he was. Reality star Mike, the situation from Jersey Shore, is 33. And it is the anniversary of the publication of the Declaration of Independence from Great Britain in 1776. Patriotic displays and family events are organized throughout the United States. Yeah, barbecues. I think a lot of people forget what July 4th is. No. Like, they're like, it's birthday of America. Right. But it's the anniversary of the publication of the Declaration of Independence from Great Britain. Say that one more time really fast. (laughs) It is the anniversary of the publication of the Declaration of Independence from Great Britain in 1776. Bam! Right on. You know, you could be one of those disclaimer voiceover artists. The one that's like... like, Ain't no bleeding in. (laughs) Yes. Prizes and participation, uh, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, anyways. <laughs> and happy birthday to my nephew. Yes, how old is he going to be? Eight. Oh. It's today. And your daughter's going to be? Seven. I want to say you were Friday. on the podcast this same time last year. Possibly. Because I remember you talking about her birthday. Hmm. Maybe it was right before or right after. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. That's what you're doing. You're scheduling us like right... I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm trying to spread it out because there for a while I felt like I was rotating three people. And I'm like, they're going to get sick of me. Uh, <laughs> and so I started growing my co-host. And now I'm like, crap, I haven't seen Nanny in like two months. What the hell? It's all good. Like I said, it's been crazy with us too. So, All right. Hollywood happenings. I don't have a lot to talk about, but Jennifer Love Hewitt. Do you know who that is? No, Yay. who doesn't? Okay, she Come gave birth on. to a baby boy. Um, I love his name. What's his name? Atticus Atticus James Hallisey. Yeah, so that was last week, and that's the second for her and her husband. Awesome. I was able to go see the screening of Magic Mike Double XL last last week. Oh yeah, I saw you posting about that. Yes, if you look over there, we have the. Fireman calendar that I purchased. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. I gotta say, it was, I think it was better than the first Magic Mike. Did you see the first Magic Mike, Nanny? No. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think so. That's okay. The first Magic Mike was supposed to be loosely based on Channing Tatum, how he kind of got into the entertainment business. Oh, so yeah. it's kind of like his story? Yes. And there were a lot of sad parts, like okay. very slow. The second one had some slow moments, but it wasn't as sad. And I, I definitely had as much fun, or I think it was better than the last one. Because it wasn't as serious. Biopic-ish. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Like no one was like overdosing on drugs or anything. So Spoiler alert. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, who doesn't overdose on drugs? I'm trying right. to get in the entertainment business. Steve. Just kidding. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> just kidding. So um, I'm going to post the link to the trailer so everyone can watch it. It comes out July 1st, which is this week. Uh huh. Perfect girls night out. In fact, I'm going to see it again with some other girlfriends on July 8th. You should probably cut that last part out. <laughs> I was totally just kidding. Oh, <laughs> No. <laughs> He's a comedian. It's all good. I know. But it's, it's kind of messed up. That was, that was a That's okay. Joke. That's okay. That's a terrible joke. Anyways. Awesome. Yay. I'm so glad you had fun. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. So Magic okay. Mike Double XL reunites Channing Tatum, uh-huh. Matt Bomber, Joe Manchelianello. Yeah. Okay. Kevin Nash, Adam Rodriguez, and Gabrielle in- Inglesias. Gabriel, Gabriel Iglesias, picking up the story three years after Mike bowed out of the stripper life. 
at the top of his game, Magic Mike XXL finds the remaining kings of Tampa likewise ready to throw in the towel. But they want to do it their way, burning down the house in one last blowout and, oh yeah, blowout, amazing performance in Myrtle Beach. And with legendary headliner Magic Mike sharing the spotlight. My name is Magic. Magic Mike. Ah, that was my favorite line. I don't know. He is was that, just so cute. Is that one of the lines? Yes. And some McConaughey's not in it. No, he is not. Oh. And I thought that the last one made him look kind of old. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Then. And I love Matthew McConaughey. I was very sad. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't watch the last one, so you have no idea. But he looks so much older than everyone else. And I was like... Well, I, I imagine, was that around the Dallas Buyers Club? I think it too? was, like, before, uh, it was, because you could definitely tell he was, was muscly. emaciated yeah. for that other mm-hmm. movie. I didn't see it, but I saw pictures of him. You need to see Dallas Buyers Club. I heard it was good. It was amazing. Okay. Amazing movie. Okay. Very I'll sad. Emotions. Lots of them. Really? Uh-huh. So it's one of those where, like, I Tissues? feel, like, emotionally constipated... I need to watch something that's yes. just going to let me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I'll put it on that list. And it's not as chicky as, like, The Notebook or something. Okay. Because it is based on a true story. Oh, okay. So, Target. Do you shop at Target? Who does it? I know, right? There's one right next to my house. <laughs> Did you know that they're robbing us? Yeah. <laughs> Did you read this article? Yeah. So, uh, you started off. Uh, well, this one doesn't pertain to me particularly because I'm not really a Starbucks drinker. I'm not either, but Steve is. Okay. I mean, I like coffee. Don't get me wrong. And I love their pumpkin spice lot. <laughs> PSLs, baby! PSL. But no, I'm not really a huge Starbucks drinker. So that's one way that they're robbing you because technically it isn't Target. It's inside of Target. Guilt by association. You're going to need sustenance. 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 Okay. Remind me of a snake. Remind <laughs> me of a snake. Getting creeped out. <laughs> Namely a frappuccino. Also probably a muffin or some other baked good. This is a scam because A, the caffeine is going to hype you up and make you forget how much money you set to, out to spend. And B... The muffin sugar is going to reduce your defense. <laughs> you are now eight. Oh, ugh. you are now out eight dollars, and the caffeine-induced mania will make you stop at the dollar spot. Which leads us to the next way Target is robbing you, and I fall for this. I have so many times the dollar spot because I have a lot of kids in my life, huh. and I'll like buy like cute little presents for them. Yeah, like, and they have cute stuff there too. They do, they do, but not everything. And it's gotten worse. Is a dollar. In the dollar spot. Some of it is actually $3. And even some things are $5 mm-hmm. now. And, yeah. Even if everything was a dollar, that pricing is only as good as your self-restraint. $27 spot items is, in case you're times tabling, $27 plus tax. Congratulations, you now own 27 pieces of crap. Yep. So, altogether, that with the $8 Frappuccino, that'll bring you to $35. Oh, and you haven't even really stepped foot inside no. the rest of the store. The thing is, not every, t- like my Target, Starbucks is on one side, the dollar spot is on the other. So, oh. I can avoid one. Right on. But I have been to Target it's, where it's on one the of same. You have huge ones, huh? Yes. Yeah. We have one entrance, and as you enter, there's the air. What is that, like their deli or Mm -hmm. whatever? There's no Starbucks. Oh. But the dollar spot is right there. Right there. Yeah. What are those big balls in front of Target? Um, I don't know. Is there a purpose? Well, I imagine that they were trying to throw the balls at the Target and missed. (laughs) Oh. Look at you being all quick and witty. No, that was actually from a comedian. Oh. He He said... Every time I go to Target, I expect to see people splattered against uh, the walls or a- mm-hmm. around the Target okay. know, as they're trying to hit the Target. That's hilarious. Yeah, he's, I love that guy. Anyways. Who is it? Give credit. Uh, Give Mitch credit. Hedberg. All right. He is hilarious. He's one of those that has a lot of one-liners. Super witty. Very, very funny. Check him out. I will. Okay. I will. <clears throat> How is Target 
grabbing us, Natty? Well, no, the notepad lore. What is that? Well, these bastards <laughs> are always changing their notepad selection.